Hello, in this video I'm going to be 3D printing and assembling an E11 blaster from Star Wars. I found the print file on Thingiverse, a link to that is in the description of this video. Okay, I've laid out all the parts. This is how they're going to print. I'll do them a couple at a time. I've got the uh, back part there and part of the stock. This is obviously the handle. Mag and magwell. The uh, main body of the gun, the barrel, had to cut into four pieces to fit on the print bed. These are the rails that go on the end of the barrel, a couple of little bits. I don't think I need these little bits here, they're to make the uh, trigger be able to be pulled. Um, but I'm just going to stick it in solid. Scope and scope rail. Loads of little bits and bobs. Got some detail bits, sights, trigger, trigger guard, scope. Mounts there, this goes on the end of the barrel. And parts of the stock. So that's all the pieces. We're going to set those up ready to print. So here are the parts printing. I'm printing them on a one hal D5S. This is the large printer. It's got an aftermarket heated aluminium bed, and I'm using ABS plastic printed at 230 degrees. Okay, so these are all the parts that have now printed. Uh, a couple of bits have to be printed multiple times. Um, this little piece here, you need two of these. And these rails, you need a lot of these. I've printed uh, seven of the rails there. Other than that, everything is once. Unless, of course, you print warps and the end of your scope is a bit deformed. Have to reprint that, so here's a nice new one, so we don't need this one. But yeah, all printed fairly well. I'm now going to clean these up a bit and remove the rafts and things. I've already drilled out the support material from the uh, the pipe here, which is the uh, the main body or barrel of the gun. These bits all need to be stuck together. Um, I tried picking these out with a file and a knife and things, and it wasn't working very well. So I took a drill bit slightly smaller than that hole and uh, just drilled those out. So now I'm going to use pliers and knives and stuff to remove all the excess plastic. So I'm just going to start by peeling the rafts off and they should come away fairly easily and then this support material here underneath just take some pliers and squish that and then pull it off you want your shaved off as much as you can I like to take this file here a rasp file Pretty much a cheese, a cheese grate on a stick. It doesn't scratch this. See, so if I go over that bit there, it's not scratching this at all. So you don't have to be too careful with it. That's the scope cleaned up. Just going to do the rest. Uh, the magazine is pretty cool, it comes in two parts, the magwell and the actual magazine. And this actually fits in here really good. So uh, credit to the guy who made the model, that is really, really well done. Um, obviously if you just left it like that on your blaster, it's probably going to fall out. So what I might do is stick a magnet in there and in the end of this so it will stay in there. I think that would be pretty cool. Not that you're going to need it to be removable, but you can always do that if you wanted to. The rafts removed from everything. Now I've got to go in and get all the support material off. And that should break away pretty easily. Like this here needs to come off. So if you get a knife. Get that one there. And there it comes. All the pieces are cleaned up and ready to stick together. I'm not going to use any glue because glue takes a thousand years to dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. And this is a wood burning tool. It's very much similar to a soldering iron in that you plug it in and it gets really hot. 
and it comes with lots of little tips like this one's kind of like a little knife and you can get one that's uh, just a little pointy tip and various other little things as well which is cool so I'm going to use my little knifey one for welding these together so I'm going to start off with a barrel so I'm going to take this piece and this piece and they go together like that The uh, main pipe thing is all stuck together and I'm sticking the handle on just using the um, 3D model on the computer there as a, as a rough idea of where everything's got to go. Once the handle's on and the, uh, the mag, everything else should be pretty simple just to line up. So these are the main bits to get right. I'm just using the same method of using my really hot tool here to just weld the two together, melting the edge of one and the edge of the other and then smushing the plastic together make it one stick this mag on it's got to be in line with this bolt hole why it's got a bolt hole in it when it doesn't fire bullets I do not know yeah not bad seems to be quite straight cool I'm going to go around that seam and I've permanently stuck the mag in so I don't want it to fall out and get lost. But like I said, I'm going to stick a magnet in both the end of the mag and inside the mag well. You could make it so it's removable and it will stay in there fairly well. But I don't want to risk losing mine. So that rough edge there, I can fix that file. Bits your file can't reach, just use some really rough sandpaper. Good thing about ABS plastic is it's relatively soft, which makes sanding it down really easy. Right, it's just the stock stuck on, it's just a couple of little bits now, and the rails and these little detail bits. Stuck on exactly the same fashion. This is the front side. the rails and some little detail thing to put on there left to go now. I've stuck one of the rails on. Six more to go. So we've got one on the top, two on the sides, and then fill the gaps in. So this one needs to be bang on the sideways there line up with the mag because I know that's sideways and these holes as well. I've went through there and into the plastic underneath. Just push the plastic together. Right, so I've got two of those done that should hold that in place. So this is the last piece to stick on, it's a little boxy thingy that goes on the side there. Right, that's all the pieces now stuck on. There's a couple of bits that are a little bit rough. 
can be fixed with some sandpaper. Well, the only thing to do on that now is to paint it. dry and do the handle and here it is all finished so it took a couple of days to print and a few hours to stick all the pieces together with my wood burning tool and a tiny bit of spray paint and we've got a finished E11 blaster that'll go really nicely with my stormtrooper costume so that's it for this video make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel to keep an eye out for when i do future builds and be sure to check out the social media links in the description of this video thanks for watching bye bye